you sure you want to bring the guys up? Yeah. Charlie. Please. Charlie. I'm sorry. Good um, morning. Is this on? Yeah. Good morning. Uh, I want to welcome Deputy Chief Jerry O'Sullivan, Commanding Officer of the Detective Bureau, uh, Queen South, um, the Commanding Officer of Queen's Violent Crime Squad, Captain Charles Campisti, the Case Supervisor, Queen South Violent Crime Squad, Sergeant Matthew Lewis, and Detective Michael Vila of the Queen South Violent Crime Squad. Squad who conducted uh, this investigation with our office. Also with us here from my team is Assistant District Attorney Kieran Linehan. He's a supervisor of major narcotics. We have Mary Lowenberg, the Bureau Chief of Major Economic Crimes, and Jerry Brave, who is the Executive of Investigations. We also have Chief Assistant Jen Nyberg that has joined us uh, in the room as well. Um, I also want to thank, take this opportunity uh, to thank the New York State Police uh, as well as the Nassau County uh, Police Department for their assistance with this investigation and the arrest of the subjects. Last week, after a long-term investigation, my office and the NYPD Queen South Violent Crime Squad arrested eight individuals who were part of a narcotics and gun trafficking operation. Five of the defendants are in custody, including three individuals charged as major drug traffickers the others are facing charges of criminal sale of a controlled substance, criminal sale of a firearm, and criminal possession of a controlled substance. Eight of these defendants are facing everywhere from anywhere from three to 150 years for their crimes. One individual still remains at large. We are alleging that Adrian Escobar is the leader of this ring with a top charge of criminal sale of a controlled substance in the first degree, operating as a major trafficker, and criminal sale of firearm in the second degree. Over the course of a year and a half long probe, I brought cocaine and ecstasy from Adrian Escobar and his colleagues on 40 separate occasions. Undercovers also purchased five handguns from the same defendants. Make no mistake about it, this was a major operation. When we raided the homes of the principals, we seized drugs with an estimated street value of $1 million, including five pounds of cocaine. Three of the defendants, including Adrian Escobar, Joseph Hernandez, and his brother, Jonathan Hernandez, are charged as major drug traffickers and each face over 25 years in prison. Adrian Escobar faces 150 years. The investigation was sparked by violence and drug sales in and around Rufus King Park in Jamaica, Queens. Through a long-term wiretap investigation that I authorized and that was supervised by my office, the police intercepted numerous communications in which the defendants openly discussed their illegal activities. This enabled us to secure warrants for defendants' residences. What police seized during these raids in Queens, Brooklyn, and Nassau confirmed what we suspected, that this was indeed a major trafficking operation. In addition to the cocaine, ecstasy, and five firearms that were previously purchased by undercover officers, during, by undercover officers these raids pursuant to the search warrant seized two nine millimeter firearms, one stolen 357 Magnum revolver. Ah, hold on. One 40 caliber firearm, and I said five before, but it's over three pounds of cocaine, a pound of fentanyl, more than 1.5 pounds of mushrooms, 1,337 Adderall pills, 797 oxycodone pills, 485 Xanax pills, 334 ecstasy pills, a car, and more than $67,000 in cash. Some of these items, not all, are displayed here. The machine that you see here displayed is a cocaine press. They would put the cocaine in that machine, 
pressed the drugs into bricks that were wrapped and then sold for distribution on the street. With that, I'd like to turn it over to Deputy Chief Jerry O'Sullivan, Commanding Officer, Detective Bureau, uh, Queens South. Thank you. Detective Bureau, sorry. Thank you so much. I, d I just want to start off by saying I want to thank the members of the uh, Queen South Violence Crime Squad, uh, which is led by Captain Robert DeAndrea and uh, head of uh, Queen's Narcotics, Captain Charles Campisi. The two case detectives have to be recognized, and I want to thank them so much for their uh, diligence in this long-term investigation, Detectives Mike Villa and Joe Vellante. Most importantly, I want to mention something that uh, to the to the undercover detectives who don't get any recognition. We don't mention them by name. We mention them by number. But just to put this in perspective, there were 50 uh, total undercover buys. Out of the 51, there were five separate uh, gun buys in this investigation. And that was separate from the search warrants where additional guns were recovered. I don't think there's anything more dangerous than sending a detective into a, to a location with, with money and to buy uh, firearms, sometimes of which they are loaded. And uh, where they're buying them from people that are not good people sometimes. Often they have uh, extensive criminal backgrounds, as is in this case also. Um, I'm just very proud of the work that was done here today. And uh, I think the district attorney hit it perfectly in terms of the charges and the extent of how serious this was. But I can tell you during the course of the takedown, which was on June 7th, and we conducted uh, the search warrants that we did, numerous people came out and silently thanked the police officers for their great work. As you see, some of the firearms that are here in front of us, there's one gun in particular, a high powered gun that was in a, a uh, a small studio apartment. That apartment had numerous people that lived in there. Uh, there were pets in there. And, uh, and it was a danger, not just to the occupants of that apartment, but the people that live next door. There's another gun that you see on the table there. Almost looks like a toy. It is far from it. It's a dangerous weapon. Again, that's uh, taken off the streets. So again, I just want to thank all the investigators for their diligence and most importantly, the cooperation of the district attorney, without which we would not be here today to talk about this uh, successful takedown. Thank you very much. Okay, I want to once again thank, you know, this is a great team effort between our office and the NYPD uh, in order to conduct an investigation like this, which was a year and a half or so. Uh, you need patience, you need diligence, you need people that will stay on the top no matter what the roadblocks ahead and faces every challenge that come in front of them. Uh, that is what the NYPD did on this and that is what our office did. Thank you for the cooperation. And again, just to echo Deputy Chief O'Sullivan's comments, the community benefits from this. The community wants to be able to live in peace and know that they can take their kids to school, walk their dogs, have their grandparents sit on the benches in the parks, and they want to be able to do it knowing that law enforcement is on top of any issues that are happening in the community. Thank you, we'll answer questions on topic. We think. So we were patient in doing this investigation, and for now, these are the only uh, arrests that are being made on this particular case. We don't, right? We believe that this was a ring that was acting in Rufus King, uh, and that was acting as a um, as a closed unit at the moment. But we always keep ourselves open for whatever we might find out through our investigations in the future. So I'm going to answer, I'll answer the first part of that and then leave uh, to either Jerry, Karen, or Mary, uh, or whoever would like to answer the second part. Uh, Rufus King Park is a staple in Southeast Queens. It is a community park where any given time at any moment, you see children, the elderly, uh, seniors, 
It is also the home, as you know, of Rufus King. It serves as a, a small museum there in honor of him uh, and in honor of, what, of the role he played uh, in the Constitution. And as far as the buys and the times of those, would someone else like to take that? I'll just... Uh... Just to mention, we're familiar with Rufus King Park. It's in, it's an important park, as uh, the district attorney mentioned. It's a sector atom of the 103 precinct. Uh, again, the parks are, are there for people to, you know, both play, bring families, and we know from our investigations history of, of Latin King members that uh, choose to use that park for different means. That is why we uh, deployed our officers and our investigators up there, and that's how it stemmed from this investigation. There's affiliation with the Latin Kings. That's correct. Any other questions? Uh, We're good. Um, I know you touched on it a little bit, the lack of the moon kind of intrusion to the board. And I know you mentioned he has like the highest, um, when he's arrested, he's the he's, highest. He's the, right. So if you look over here, you'll see the two undercovers are uh, blacked out. Um, the supplier of the guns is also. And uh, that would be the person that's still at large. And we are looking for him. Uh, the police are looking for him right now. And he's brothers with, with the... No. Is that one of the brothers? No. no. That is not one of the brothers. Would you consider him kind of like the ring? We believe that Adrian Escobar is at the top of this ring. Yes. I didn't know if you meant the supplier or Adrian, but Adrian, yes. yes I'm sorry, can you say again which defendants are wanted? Go ahead. Or Kiernan? James, James Maldonado uh, is, is wanted. Maldonado. Yes, and um, I'm quite confident. We have uh, our uh, warrants division is out for it. We'll get them, and they will get them. They're the best of the best, and uh, I'm completely confident he'll be off the street soon. If you notice, if you notice, we divided the rings uh, in two ways. Some are duplicated, uh, some are in both. But clearly, the top uh, on the right side is uh, the cocaine, the fentanyl, and all of the drugs that we um, we seized. On the left is the gun trafficking conspiracy. The supplier in that conspiracy is still out. And as De uh, Deputy Chief O'Sullivan said, I have no doubt that he will soon be in custody. We thank you very much for your time. It's good to get the, um, the information out there um, to the communities that the, this office and the NYPD are making sure um, with long-term investigations and uh, online arrests that we are keeping the community safe. Uh, and we want our parks to be used for what the parks are supposed to be used for. And that is for people to enjoy themselves, to have family days, and to be part of the Queen's culture that it is. Thank you very much for coming out today. Thank you. I'm sorry. The, if we go to Queen's, um, is there a mugshot or something? Like, do you guys want to put a photo out there of this guy or no? Are you doing anything? Like, uh, uh, DCPI will have it, but again, he, I, I'm pretty confident he'll be in custody shortly. But DCPI will give the photo. Okay. Thank you very much.